40 blue as you can see right there which means you can't hear me and honestly I don't think you really care because the sound that this car makes let me just put my window up a bit roll up windows classic this car is unbelievable Sam sent me a message saying uh, that he was going to be taking this car off and picking up another car later we're having a bit of a classic day today um, and so yeah very kindly invited me along and we're taking this car on a little bit of a journey not very long but wow my first time in an f40 and what an experience this one has which exhaust is this on the car uh this is a tubi so tubi style competition exhaust so it's basically a straight pipes straight pipe oh 812 over here Boom. basically a straight piped f40 so as far as first rides in an f40 go blue straight piped that is pretty special, yeah. So it can't get much better than that. We've got the aircon on, but it's effectively just like an asthmatic man blowing through a yeah, straw, a as Jeremy Clarkson once said. Um, but actually, you know what? It's not that bad down it's, here. It's, I think it needs regassing. Okay. When I first, when I, it does blow cold. Yeah. But it's just not at the moment, so I think it needs to re. I love how we're saying that, like, aircon was shot and it actually blows cold air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shows the expectations for the electronics. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. low, pretty low. Yeah. Well, there are no electronics. Yeah, well, that's true, actually, yeah, to be fair. But then, lights. Like, we've got lights. <laughs> we got lights. Are they, they, well, we don't need them, so who cares at this point? <laughs> yeah, which are the coolest thing ever. But it's got a dog leg uh, gearbox, which is really interesting. I've never really, you know, you don't see these that often, so it's kind of yeah, cool so seeing you do that. So that's first. Yeah, first is down on the that. left, and then reverse is up on the left. So that takes some getting used to, I imagine, driving. But we were just talking about how it's actually not too uncomfortable, this car. Suspension isn't too brutal. Um, you know, you don't feel like you've just been in a Le Mans car. And that, yeah, that's actually, sure. I didn't expect that. I thought it'd be much more brutal than it is. Another thing is the visibility is brilliant. So the visibility out the front, see we're really actually quite close to the front windscreen. And it's pretty good around back. I mean, you just got that ridiculous view right there. I genuinely don't know if you've heard me at all, by the way, during any of this. <laughs> Another thing is headroom. I'm not a tall guy. If, if I fall from it, yeah. but you have to like you adopt this Italian crouch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You need to just act like a small Italian Luigi because you're also just going to bang your head. So with helmets, it'd be interesting. But yeah, I'm j I just feel like a kid in a candy store right now because the big M40. And there's going to be something else exciting today. So yeah, really cool. So an English video. Thank you, Sam, for inviting us. Of course, you guys all know Sam has a his own YouTube channel um, so obviously there are videos of this car others that he has um, so definitely go check that out because it is pretty epic stuff and a YouTube channel with an F40 living on it props it is genuinely impossible to talk to the camera and barely possible to talk to ourselves on the motorway but we are stationary now so, it's not so, so now it's possible I can show you the really elaborate uh, sound system which comes with an F40 uh, this is just yeah Portable Option, speaker. Optional extra. Optional extra, um, which we haven't actually used because we've been ch chatting about the various different cars. Um, but it is just absurd that we're just pootling around. We're on the motorway. We're on a roundabout now in an F40. It is just absurd. I mean, that noise. It is just beautiful. <laughs> what are the brakes like? They're not bad. They're yeah. unassisted, so you've got to press them quite hard. Yeah. Like you really got to press them quite hard, but they're, they're not. They're not bad. They're not bad. Yeah. And the steering is that's heavy, low speed, but then it comes into its yeah, own it's high sort speed. Of fine. It wriggles a lot. Like it moves a lot. Yeah. Um, it's like unassisted. Everything's and the clutch unassisted. is a bit heavy. The clutch is quite heavy, but. I mean, this one. Yeah, your legs gonna go work out. This one is in such good nick as well. I mean, oh look, it's a Lotus. Oh yeah. Look at that. But yeah, a blue no, one. A blue one. And he's trying not to look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's quite looking. He, it's actually a very similar colour. It is. But yeah, I mean, whoa. Ah. Oh my god. Yes, anyways, on that jolly note, 
we're nearly there. We just pulled over briefly. Um, oh, hello. That was an A3 there for Sam to put some cameras on for his vlog. But I thought this was the perfect opportunity to show you this car from the outside. It is just stunning. The license plate as well is so cool. F40 blue. That is a nice touch. I apologize if there's any wind noise. Uh, this camera is really not good with wind. I just grabbed my little handy cam today to come film this. Oh my god. I mean, it just looks stunning, doesn't it? Look at that. There's the interior, which you've seen plenty. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, the color. I think it goes so well with the interior as well. It is just beautiful, this car. I mean, this has to be one of, if not the greatest Ferrari I think they've ever made. After having been in it for the first time, it's gorgeous. I love these little inlets here. And you really can, so the, the paint was done by Ferrari Classic, eh? You can still see the carbon weave. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera, but you can still see the carbon weave through the paint, which is a really nice touch, because obviously when they're repainted sometimes, uh, you can't do that. This is a 1989 car, which is uh, which is an important year actually, and it, it means that the car is a little more usable. I mean, the 19, 1989. What changed in 1989? Uh, after that, it went to like an adjustable suspension. Yeah. And cats. So this car doesn't have cats from the factory. Okay. So it's loud. 89 and before. Those are the ones cats. you want. That, and non-adjustable because I think the, the adjustable suspension started going wrong. Yeah. So you want 89 and prior? It's sort of, that, that's, that's sort of the thing. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. They're all great. They're all great, for sure. And this exhaust. you don't have the adjustable suspension, and you don't have cats and stuff, you can see a lot more of the engine in the back. Yeah, I mean, it is just stunning. Obviously, this is not glass. Um, but yeah, you can see the exhaust there which is absolutely stunning. So yeah, anyways, Sam's just gonna do a little bit for his YouTube channel. As I said, it'll all be down below. Let's get going. Point turning uh, an F40. Like yeah, 15. This is like that scene out of um, how have I forgotten the name? Very famous movie, Doctor Scary or whatever his name is. Right, anywho, <laughs> that's that. <laughs> Doctor Evil. No, still no. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Okay.
amazing thing then is the, the change up from second to third that's like 60 so if you ride out yeah. like second change to third like you're you just know, under yeah. the limit yeah which is it feels, it, but it feels mental. It though. feels so fast in this car just because of how analog it is. Yeah. How much noise yeah, there is. I don't know, five, ten miles an hour right now. You can see, like, it's all all over the place. No, it feels. I can tell you. I don't think I've ever been so not slowly, but so, it, it's never so felt, slowly, but felt, but so, felt fast. so fast. Yeah, a car that makes you feel like you're going so fast when you're not actually going that that fast. Um, that was awesome. <laughs> on a little country lane. Wow. We've done everything in this car today. We've done motorway, we've done city, we've done country roads. Pretty cool. Take the boxes. Take the boxes. We've dropped off the F40, haven't we, Sam? Yeah. He's laughing because we've been yeah. filming in French and then now we're back to English. Back to back talking. content. And now we've got Sam's beautiful old 911, um, which is absolutely stunning. Last time I was with it, it was in Sweden, and now to see it back here. Do you get to drive this often? Quite a lot. Quite yeah, a lot. At home. Yeah. I drive it in London. It's it's my go-to car for road trips or like we have to go to a lot of weddings at the moment. Like it's part yes, of the that car. is such that is yeah, so it true. All, does all the stuff. Wedding car is ideal. If you're wearing a suit and you show up somewhere in a suit with this, it's so sick. I mean, it has been completely um, renewed, this car, and it, it just looks so, so clean. I mean, everything from all the chrome just looks absolutely spotless, and the interior is stunning. I mean, look at this. Leather in perfect condition. Um, all of the materials are just absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to take this now on the motorway back down into London, switching from the 40 into this, two completely different cars. But yeah, no, it is stunning. Let's get going. Pedals are like, versus a normal car. Like, ah, yeah. Uh, upside Angled. down, but like the normal car. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pedals hinge come. from the floor. These are hinged from above. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Wow, it's wait. like an old 911 thing. Or That's old really cool. Thing. It's, yeah. it's really weird the first time you do it. Yeah, I can imagine. It takes some getting used to. Um, and then it's fine, but... Yeah, fuck. That's weird. That is weird, It's just isn't really it? odd. And then this handbrake, which is just literally just chilling, lying down there. Look at it. It's yeah. just having a break. <laughs> and then we've got this beautiful... We've got these other little things. So what this do one, they do? This is the hand throttle. So this is when you're starting the car. So hand throttle or cruise control. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but when you're starting the car, you lift this up, and it it's like pressing the throttle. It, you know, pulls yeah, the throttle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Got it. And that makes it easier when it's. Oh, and it it's makes just it better. It just like puts a little bit of throttle on. So to warm the car up, it's like good. Yeah. Up, you can like lift it a bit, and it will hold it. Yeah. At a certain amount of revs or whatever. Got you. Got and then you. the other one is the heating. Oh yeah, so you know, of course this, it is. <laughs> and a, um, a, a valve like opens and lets air, hot air from the engine bay into into the air con, like, well not the air con, but the, the air system. Okay, okay, got you. Wow, I mean, who would have thought that the heating <laughs> would be down there of all places? You also had the rear seats, um, well not removed, they were never yeah, there. Yeah, so, right? so in this car originally had rear seats, yeah. but when it was converted to how it looks now, they removed them and they've okay. that sort of stuff. All right, so it's just like storage space there now. Yeah. But it brakes quite well. You can get, yeah, it stops pretty well. It's got um, it's got brakes from a Boxster. Okay, and it's light, there. it must be really light. Yeah, I think it's, pr I think it's quite light. I, I would love to get it weighed. Yeah. Because it's, I'm it's, thinking it's got a decent, I think that sort of weight, maybe. But it's got a decent amount of, like, go. Sounds so good. And it sounds good. At the moment it's got the, a quiet exhaust on and it, it has had a quite a loud one on for most yeah. of its life. But I'm doing a track day this weekend. First time in this car. In this, on uh, track. Although, That's pretty although cool. the last time I did this on track was on ice. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah fair play. So it will be your first different. actual yeah. proper dry tarmac track there in this car. It will be really interesting. This will be very involving. I think it will be very involving very and fun. very, I think there will be You'll get that weight balance yes. coming into effect of whether it just goes like. <laughs> well, then anything will just feel feel so digital after you try this out. You know, yeah. it'll be like it'll be like using an electric toothbrush if you drive anything. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like you want to do it yourself. Although we were just talking to someone who sells like classic cars, like yes, pre-war 
Yeah, pre-war pre stuff. Cars, that's hard cars and stuff like that. And he's like, he looks at this and goes, "This is well, this is like, this Modern. is digital. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, exactly. It's got a stereo. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's that pre-war stuff. You're literally strapped to a bomb at 100. You're not strapped to those seatbelts. Well, not. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you'd rather be strapped to the bomb or not. But yeah, that thing is pretty intense. But um, yeah, no, it is really cool in here. The cool thing is you've got that stereo. I really like the steering wheel. Yeah, it's like it's small but fat. So originally this car had a one of those really large ones. Oh uh, yeah, like large with, and with thin. The, like, like that. The, the design was like the spokes went like that. Yeah. Um, so it would have been this size. Yeah. Um, and it's had when it got changed, they put they put a smaller steering wheel on it, which it's quite it works well. It's it's a bit heavier the steering because of it. But yeah. Actually, the the speedo becomes less visible. Yeah. Because the that part of the steering wheel covers anything above 60. So I, got you. I, I, basically, it's impossible to go above 60 because I couldn't see it. Because you wouldn't be able, well, at least you know. Yeah. Oh, got it. it sounds good when you get on it. It yeah. kind of sounds like it opens up a bit and then it really does sound good. It's a shame it hasn't got the, the other exhaust still going back on it. Yeah. But well, actually, I quite, on. you get an experience of the noise yeah. without it being too This loud. sounds quite what it would have sounded like stock almost. Yeah, this is basically stock. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, really nice. And I love how you can see, you can place your front yeah, tires two, perfectly. Two yeah. arches. No, that's that's really cool. Um, no, honestly, this is this is goals. I was saying like, you know how you know you if you have any siblings, you know this. I, that's their dream car. Your mom, your dad, everyone. This is my dad's absolute dream car. So I always, every time I see one of this sort of era, 911. And let alone get in one, I kind of feel like something a bit special. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, feel, I feel something for him, so it's definitely that's cool. cool. And Very cool. A, an important thing for me was a car that I could use yeah. a lot. So that's that's why I went for one that's been modified so to that make you it more enjoy useful. It. And then I, I just know I, and also because it's modified, I'm not super precious about it. Like, yeah. If you know, I just use it in town on a hot day. You know like that whatever. you can do it. Yeah. But yeah, it's just good fun. Yeah, I think it's a very, very cool car. Made it to central London now. This car is actually tiny. You realize when you get into town. What's the clutch like on it as well, by the way, when you're driving around town? Pretty easy? No problem. Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty pretty chilled. Yeah, it seems pretty pretty easy actually driving around in this car. Good visibility. Clutch, apparently, is light. Uh, it's and the car's not very it's big. It's a funny gearbox, though. Oh really? It's it's, it's it's like a like an old van or something. You have to get used to it. Like it's it's so it's a, it's far, a long like, throw. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good and you can't rush that. it. Like if you try and rush it, it you just, will get like, it wrong. Sticks and it's all hard sorts. To you know. have to take a like bit there's of time. A, there's the bike equivalent, an old yeah no Triumph. Look at that. Pretty cool. Oh. I don't know anything about it's bikes. If you're wondering. Yeah, it is interesting driving a car like this around London. You also feel like people give you a little bit more space. No, <laughs> they just use more space, but they do. Yeah, I think they do. Yeah, because people it's appreciate. Like I get so classics. much like good vibes from people in this car versus like any other car I've ever driven. If you're around driving in. an Aventador, people are kind of like, "Oh, screw you." Yeah, but if, if you're Ferrari, bad people hate you. This yeah. people go out of their way to be like, "Hey, yeah, welcome." You? you know, drive in at a roundabout yeah. or anything like that. So. No, that is a nice touch. We made it. Finally, this uh, beautiful Porsche carried us home magnificently. Thank you, Sam, for today. You're welcome. That was awesome. Give us a high five. Guys, Sam has an epic YouTube channel. I've mentioned it a few times. Go follow him. Uh, I know you're going to head home now in this. Enjoy it very much. Good luck on your track day. Yeah, yeah. And first thank you for... Yeah, this. first track day with this. Thank you for allowing me to do an English video. It felt amazing to be back on this channel. And we'll be back very, very soon. So thank you guys, as always. F40 and a beautiful classic 911 in today's vlog. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And I will see you very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.